selling covered calls is the opposite of selling puts. You're selling calls. And they're called covered calls because you need to cover them with either 100 shares, which is the amount of one contract, or you can cover them with a bought option contract. Let's say, I'm not sure if y'all ever heard of leaps. Leaps are uh, long equity anticipated, uh, I forgot what the S is, but leaps are basically when people buy um, calls for a year out or two years out and they're expecting that the price will come up, but they buy these contracts far out in the future, those are called leaps. If you followed, um, if you follow um, the Come Up series and Mark Monroe, he talks about leaps a lot. I don't really know if there's too many other people. I think the guy Zay may be on Twitter. He may talk about leaps a lot too. But we went down the road in our community of using the leaps and covered calls. And we decided, didn't we, Jamie? That we decided that covered calls work better with shares than they do with leaps. We did it with the leaps. We did it for a long time. Our leaps didn't do so great. So then our covered calls got to be harder to manage. But I'm showing you a way to use covered calls with a hundred shares. So when you sell a call, you sell a call when you're expecting price to go down. Sell a call when you're expecting price to go down, okay? So the steps for selling covered calls, okay? You buy or you own. If you already own 100 shares of something, you don't have to buy it. But if you, but if you don't, you can buy 100 shares of a stock that you like. We're gonna go back to barchart.com again so we can see some choices. You want to chart the stock on the daily time frame. Not as important. Um, charting is not as important with covered calls as it is for puts. And I'll show you why. You want to se select the call strike above the current price and above your resistance zone or above what you paid for the stock. All right. You go to the option chain, put it on single, select the expiration date you want. You want to pick the bid column of the strike you want on the call side because we're selling a covered call and then you collect your premiums. We're going to go through lots of examples here. So you're going to be able to see how this goes. And at some point you exit this trade, you can let them expire worthless if you want, or you can close it on your own, just like you did with puts. Um, you go to the monitor tab, like we've showed you before, click on it. Um, then you're going to close the order, do, do a closing order. Remember, if you sell to open, then you need to buy to close. The price you want to pay to exit will populate. If you're okay with that, you click confirm. If not, you input what you want. Best E, there we go. I just want to show you where it is in Robinhood in case you decide you're going to buy. But the bid and the ask, the Ask is basically the two between these two places is where the, the price the price is. Robin Hood's taking forever. Let's go back. Oh, there was it finally popped up. So you got here the price is a dollar seventy six, right? And if you want to buy EOSE over here in, in Robin Hood, you just can buy how many shares you want. You can buy in shares or you can buy in money. Robinhood allows you to buy partial shares. You know, some companies like Thinkorswim, you have to buy whole shares. You can't buy portions, but Robinhood allows you to work with partial shares. Okay, so you can buy however many you want. If you were buying, you know, 100 shares, it's $1.76. Estimated cost is going to be $176. When we're here back on Thinkorswim, we're going to buy these in our on demand. I'm going to select this B and A, which is the bid and ask. I think you can also buy them from the chart. There's a few different places. But here you see buy. I picked the bid, the BA up here next to the price. And I think I might have been able to pick anywhere up in this box. You could have picked the price right here at $1.66. And then it, a drop down happens. You can say buy. I want to buy them at $1.67 a piece and it automatically populates with 100 shares. You can, of course, change this number to whatever you want to change it to. But in our case, we're buying 100 shares at $1.67. We're going to confirm and send. Okay, we bought 100 shares 
Let's also go buy us some more stuff. You know, in the sim, you're a millionaire. You can buy anything you want in the sim. You can buy anything you want in the sim. I'm going to buy some AMC. $5.37. We're getting 100 shares here. You know, we're balling out today, boy. We're going shopping. We're going shopping in the stock market. Okay. I'm also going to go and buy 100 shares of my darling. Got to buy 100 shares of my darling. Oh, it went over $6 today. You better come on so far because it was definitely down at what? It was below $5 today, wasn't it, Jamie? It was. You're not keeping good down. Like down. $480 something? Yeah, it says it's at $6 right now. Nice. I'll yes. <laughs> you know, I'll be keeping up with, with, uh, with SoFi. I bought some okay. at 488. Did you? Look at you. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah. Now you, them, them is worth more now. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go to, we've got them in our accounts. We done bought some, um, AMC, EOSC. Well, I'm not sure why FRC is still here. I must've been that was from the other day, I think, when we were messing around. So I got AMC, EOSC, and um, SoFi, okay? So you see here, we own 100 shares. Oh, that was a put from the other day. We own 100 shares. Um, Sorry, I don't know that one. Stop, Alexa. Alexa, stop. Um, we own 100 shares right here. Now we're ready to go trade and do some covered call. We're on the trade screen and we do single. Trade screen and single. Okay, we're looking on the call side because we are selling a covered call. So we bought our shares on the 28th, which was, you know, the same day we're on. Remember, we're doing on demand. So now let's look at what kind of what kind of um, premiums we would get. We paid, you gotta look here to see how much did we pay for our AMC shares, okay? Under trade price, it tells you we paid $5.38 for our shares, okay? So when you're doing a covered call, you want to sell a covered call above what you paid. You want to sell a covered call above what you paid. So if you paid $538 for it, you want to sell a call. We're on the call side. You want to sell a call at $556, $650, whatever, as long as it's above current price and above what you paid for them. How did I get to SoFi when I was talking about AMC? Let's go here, AMC, okay? We want to sell a call above what we paid because the reason I say this, okay? We paid 538 for them. If you're selling a covered call and the price goes up into that and breaches it, then the stocks are gonna be called away. And you want them to be called away higher than what you paid. You don't wanna do a five strike and then your shares get called away for $5 a piece, which is $500, but you paid $538, right? So you have to pick a, a, a stock, a price, a strike price. You have to pick a strike price higher than what you paid. You can go up to $550, $6, because if the price goes up, then you would release your shares for $5.50, or you would release your shares for $6 each. Well, you only paid $5.38. So you want to make back more than what you pay. That's with anything, right? You don't want to go, you selling stuff, you buy it at one price, you sell it higher. That makes sense? Okay. Let's no, go. Wait a minute. So the um, you said five thirty eight. Do you mark it with the red again? I were you mark like which strikes which strikes we should pick? 
Yeah, so when you came up with the 538, that was from the chart, right? I got that from the monitor tab. I went to monitor, which you're gonna wanna go see in your positions, mm -hmm. what is your trade price? You wanna know what did you pay for them? And for in Thinkorswim, it's called the trade price. But if you go into your positions and see what you have, you it should be to tell you how much you paid for it. Okay. This is what's called your cost basis. Basically, what was your cost of the item? Mm -hmm. You may hear people talk about buying more shares to bring your cost basis down. Maybe you bought some shares at $10 and now it's down to five. If you buy some more, you will bring your, the average cost of your shares, you'll bring them down. Mm -hmm. What did you decide on 538? I just happened to be the time that I just put the order in. You know what I'm saying? How did you decide that as the strike price? Oh, I didn't. I didn't pick a strike price yet. Oh, what am I seeing here? 538. This is what we paid for it. Right? So we paid 538 for the shares. So now I'm saying we've got to pick a strike price higher than oh, that. That's in right, because you're, you're, sure. uh, you're not doing the, um, you're, you're buying the shares in order to do the cover call. Yeah. Uh -huh. got you, got you. That's what yep. the current price is or whatever. Yep. Okay, Current gotcha. price was five thirty eight, right there. Gotcha. So we paid five thirty eight for our shares. And now we're going to look at selling a covered call, but you need to know how much you paid for them first, because you don't want to pick something lower than that, and then it, you know, then you end up having your shares called away for a price lower than what you paid for. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm looking at one week away, May the 5th, and we need to be above 5, 538. So we can look at the 550 strike. We can look at $6 if we want. Notice how much it's you're going to take in in premiums. If you go with the 550 strike one week away, you're going to collect $20 in premiums. If you go with the six strike, you're going to collect $10 in premium. Keep in mind, you still have the asset. You still have 100 shares of AMC stock at $5.38 a piece. On top of that, you're going to get $20 in premiums. Mm -hmm. Okay, and if the price at expiration goes up higher than your five five fifty, the shares will be called away. This is how the wheel works. So um, let's say we're going to do a five point five strike. I need to put it on the thing. I need I need more room. Let me share the whiteboard. Oop, we're pulling out the whiteboard. Okay, so with covered calls, we paid five thirty-eight per share. If we're gonna pick the five point five call, make sure we pick the bid, and we're going to collect twenty dollars. Okay, if at expiration price is below. If price at expiration is below 550, we basically win the trade. Okay, we win the trade and keep our shares. If the price is below 550 at expiration, then you win the trade and you keep your shares. Am I with me so far? Yes. Okay. If price is above 550 at expiration, your shares will be called away. at $5.50 each. 
at five to remember you paid five hundred and thirty eight dollars is what you paid for them but you will receive but you're gonna get five hundred and fifty dollars so the difference between that is you're going to have twelve dollars of profit in addition to the twenty dollars you had over here because you nobody's taking those premiums back from you you're keeping those Okay, you won't have the shares anymore, but they've been called away at a price higher than what you paid for them. And the difference between those two is your money and you keep the premiums that you shared, that you, um, that you collected. Real quick, I just wanted to come on. This is Arlissa, Educator to Trader. Wanted to come on and tell you and ask you, I guess, to like and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content that um, I create and I'm, you know, posting regularly, then go ahead and subscribe. That way you won't miss anything and you can be a part of all that we're doing here. Um, I'm a coach to sellers. I'm an option sellers coach. Um, if that's a vein that you don't know anything about or you want to know more about, then go ahead, subscribe and check us out all the time. All right. Thank you all. I appreciate it.